Hey everyone, this is Ryan. I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of a new feature that we've added to InControl through a plugin, and that is the ability to connect to SightHound to get your video feeds. Now what SightHound is, is a product you can purchase that will let you add your cameras to it that's got some great features such as being able to record when there's motion, and it has some really cool review options as well. I'd like, I'd, I'd encourage everyone to go check it out. They've got a, a single camera free trial that you can play with. So first of all, here's my copy of Scihound. I've got two video cameras added to it. The first thing you need to do is go into your options menu and make sure you've got remote access enabled. I've done this already for mine. Make a note of what port you're going to use on yours because you need to use that port inside of InControl. So once you've got that set up and your servers turned on, head on over to InControl. This is assumed you've already installed the Sighthound plugin inside the plugins folder. And once you've done that, you'll have this new menu show up. So go up and configure it. And I'm going to put in my IP address of localhost since I'm running Sighthound and InControl on the same computer. This will be the port that I configured and my username and password. Go ahead and save that. And this just tells you that InControl needs to be restarted. So let me go offline. Okay, now that I'm offline, I'll go ahead and go back online. That's essentially restarting my server. And here in just a minute, my video cameras will show up. <clears throat> okay, there they are. They just popped up on the screen. I've got the garage cam and the swan cam. As you can see, you can toggle between them and see the current snapshots. You can refresh the snapshot, or you can actually click on it and see the, the full view. Let me show you one more new feature we added related to cameras. So in a way, you can actually t tell those cameras to send you a snapshot via email. So let's say you've got a Z-Wave motion sensor that you want to watch and whenever it detects motion you can automatically take a picture with your camera and send it to yourself. So to do that, add your camera devices to your scene. I'll add both of mine and choose a script for email scene status. This script will read through the, all the devices in the scene and email me information about them and since they're cameras it'll actually send me the current snapshot that the camera sees. Now as far as the trigger, let's go over here and add a device trigger. I'd like to watch my motion sensor and when motion detects is detected it'll send me those pictures. So I'll choose my motion sensor and I'll choose motion detected and click OK. Now in theory I could do this anytime a light's flipped on or if a door sensor is triggered, I could have it also email me those pictures. So that's it. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Uh, once again, that product is called SightHound. Go check it out at their website, sighthoundlabs.com. Thanks for watching.